If a Bollywood actor plays a variant of Loki in some time in the future, who would you like to see? Gosh, that's a good question. I Got think the- last time you told me you love Devdas, and I can't think of anyone but Shah Rukh Khan. So I was about you- to say Shah. I was about to say Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want. I just yeah. He would be great. He's a good variant. You know, towards the end of it, did Loki get what he wanted? According to you, there is a poetic redemption to right. a story that began in Kenneth Branagh's Thor uh, for me 14 years ago. Hi, Tom. Good to see you once again, especially <laughs> great to see you after watching the finale. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. It is so thoroughly entertaining. I don't have much time, so I'm going to jump straight into it. Is this, is Loki over? Is Tom Hiddleston's Loki over and done? Um, I understand why you're asking that question. Um, I have in the past, perhaps mistakenly, believed that there might be an answer to that question. Uh, um, So uh, I think it's important for me to keep an open heart and an open mind at this point. Absolutely. And did, you know, towards the end of it, did Loki get what he wanted, according to you? In a sense, yes. I I think there is a poetic redemption to a story that began in Kenneth Branagh's Thor for me 14 years ago. I think it's technically 12 years ago for the audience, but I was cast 14 years ago. And that I always saw that there was a purity of soul in Loki. Right. And he becomes a broken soul in that first film. And there's so much damage and so much pain and so much grief that turns, it's hardened into grievance and into anger and vengefulness. And that's the character you meet in in Avengers is um, his his heartache has turned into something, uh, a hardness of heart, which is how he becomes a villain. And I think Mobius, his mirror, really, his conversation with Mobius, And his relationship with Sylvie give him a second chance. And so he's able to redefine for himself what glorious purpose might look like, might feel. And that actually purpose, meaning and belonging were always available to him. He just didn't have the the tools yet. Right. Uh, If Loki could time slip and come to an Indian city, where would he like to come? Wow, that's a good question. I mean, uh, I'm going to inflect my bias into this. (laughs) Chennai is going to be the answer. What's that? Chennai is going to be the answer. Chennai I love. Chennai I have history with. But I've never been to Delhi. I would, I'd love to, never been to Delhi. I've never been to Mumbai. Um, So yes, India is still is still an undiscovered country for me in large parts. There's lots of the country I would love to see still. Right. If a Bollywood actor plays a variant of Loki in some time in the future, who would you like to see? Gosh, that's a good question. I might know. What do you think? I mean, who do you think would be? Who's who's got the sort of mischief and the I don't know, the charm and also the the sort of like emotional vulnerability who do you think's got the i got think the- last time you told me you love devdas and i can't think of anyone but Shah Rukh khan so but I, was you, about you- to say, I was about to say Shah Rukh khan yeah yeah <laughs> i just want i just yeah he'd be great he's a good variant i think <laughs> right you know what you've done with loki we can't imagine anyone else we don't want to imagine anyone else we i just hope we see you very soon once again doing this what we love thank you so much i so appreciate that well we- We shall see. Time will tell. Time will tell. Thank you, Tom. Thanks so much.